Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you really easy and step-by-step -step how to make these beautiful sunrise seed beads earrings. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell. In this way you won't miss my new absolutely free videos with similar designs and you will be inspired often. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for this, guys. Check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your, your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And a lot of work goes in these videos, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with perks that you could check down there in description. So now guys, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 all seed beads, black, turquoise, yellow, orange and red. I'm also using here earring findings in black color. You could use others of your choice. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches or 0 0.15 millimeters. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm going to take here on my first step are 12 black seed beads. Okay, I have 12 of them and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made and pull. And then I'm going to make one more knot. Just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, then what I want to do is go in the next two beads. And I have this beautiful circle of beads here. What I'm going to do next is to take three turquoise beads. And as I'm exiting out of this bead, I skip it and I go through the following three again, skip the one that's on my way and go through the following three, go in the next one. And I'm going to do this until the end of this row. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm exiting out of this turquoise beads that is sticking out the most, the middle of the three beads. And I take yellow, red, yellow. And I go in the next bead that is sticking out. Again. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, guys, then in my next step, I want to go through one of the yellow beads here three yellows skip the red one and go through the following yellow and if you can go through the next three beads 
yellow, turquoise and yellow. In this way you save time. Three yellows, skip here the red and go in the next tree. Okay guys, now I have this beautiful flower here and what I want to do is go through these three yellow beads. Now I'm exiting in the, from the middle yellow bead. Here I have two yellows and two yellows and this is the middle one that is sticking out the most. And I'm going to take five orange beads. Okay, five orange. And as I'm exiting through this one, I'm going in the next central one that is sticking out the most. Okay. Okay, five again. And go here through the central one. And five again. Go through the central one. Okay, and I will continue this three more times and meet you here, guys. Okay, and I have my last five orange beads here. Now I have this. Now here I want to go through three orange beads. Take three yellows and go back through this orange here. As I'm exiting through it, I go back in circle again through it and pull. Now I have this. Then what I want to do is go through the next two orange beads just like this. Here I need three turquoise beads and as I'm exiting from this orange I go in the next orange and again I go through three orange beads. Pull it a little bit like this. Three yellows. And this time I will go through this yellow and through the following two orange beads just to save one movement. And I pull. Three turquoise and go through three orange beads. Three yellows, go back through this orange that I'm exiting out of and also through the next two orange beads. So I exit where my orange beads end. Take three turquoise, go in the next three And three yellows. And go like this. Okay, now I have three. Go here like this. Three yellows. Go back in circle, three turquoise, go through three, three yellows, go through three, and three turquoise. Now, what I want to do is go through this yellow bead, then through the yellow that is sticking out, 
and what I want to take are seven red beads and as I'm exiting through this yellow I go here in the turquoise that is sticking out the most okay I need here seven again you see seven and uh, I exit out of the turquoise that is sticking out the most and I go in the yellow in this row I I'm gonna be connecting these beads that stick out the most with seven red beads okay seven okay guys and I will continue this until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last seven beads from this row and now what I want to do is go in this direction through four beads just like this take three yellow beads go back in circle through these beads that I've just been through then go through two red beads in this direction okay you see where I'm exiting one red bead away from the angle I take one orange and I go in the same place one red bead away from the angle And I went through the two beads after that, but I want to go through one more bead in this direction. Then take three yellow beads, go like this back in circle through this one, and then through the next two red beads, exiting one bead away from the inner angle here. Orange one bead away from the inner angle and through the following three just to save time and pull three yellows and go through three and one orange And like this and three yellows and through three reds in this direction and one orange and through three reds in this direction and I'm going to continue these guys three yellows one orange until the end and I'll meet you here okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last orange bead from this row now what I want to do is go here in this direction and I want to exit through this yellow bead at the top and through the following okay like this now what I do is that I prefer to flip my work in this direction and when I flip it I take two yellows and go through the orange two more yellows and go through the yellow go in the following two yellows again filling the gap with two yellows between the yellows and the orange and again two yellows and this row guys is really pleasant and really easy because I just fill the gaps with two yellow beads everywhere Okay, and I will continue this and meet you here. 
Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two yellow beads from this row. Okay, and for the next row, what I'm going to do is go in this direction through these three yellow beads. Then I skip here the orange and go in the next yellow. Take two black beads and go back again through this yellow like this. And then directly through the yellows and go through three beads in this direction. Okay, this is my first step. Then I skip this angle, I don't go through it. But I go through the following two beads, just like this. Then again, I go through this yellow, don't go through the orange at the angle. But straight through the next yellow. And take two black beads and go back in circle through these two yellows again. You see? Don't go through the orange but through these two yellows. And pull. Now I want to pop out this angle. And how I do this? I go through two yellow beads. Don't go through this one that is sticking out. and pull and now this angle goes to this side then I go in the next yellow here two black beads go back in circle through these two yellows okay then go in the next two yellows don't go through this one that is sticking out the most but go through the next three and pull it to the outside and I'll show you how I'm adding the blacks again go after this yellow two black beads go back in the yellow and in the following yellow and pull and then pop out the angle, add these two and continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two black beads from this row. Okay, just like this. And what I want to do is go in this direction and then go through this yellow bead here and I'm going to take two black beads, my earring finding and two black beads okay, this is what I have and as I'm exiting here through this yellow bead I go back in circle like this through the same yellow Then what I want to do is to reinforce this joint here. And when I do this, I want to go through some beads in this direction and make here a, a knot at the angle and how I do this I make a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made Then I make sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and I pull. Then I go in this direction through one or two beads. And I cut my thread. 
Okay guys, and now my Sunrise Seed Beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe, also hit the bell button, in this way you will be notified for my new absolutely free similar videos. You could also check description for a full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook and Instagram pages. A lot of work goes in these videos, so you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member. And the last one comes with great perks that you could check in description as well. Thank you so much for staying with me here until the end. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.